Let something creep into your mind and it may just come true. We do, after all, create our own realities. I heard about the coach telling his pitcher in an important baseball game, whatever you do, son, don't pitch him high and inside. So guess where the next pitch was located? And guess what happened to that pitch? How many times have you experienced that one in a thousand possibility happen right before your eyes? Are you tempted to tell yourself, wow, I just knew that was going to happen? Case in point, check out my Technicolor finger. I was working on a garage project over the weekend. I was up on a ladder nailing a brace into a wall stud. I had a hammer in my right hand and was holding the piece of wood needing to be secured in my left. Now, I spent my high school summers as a carpenter. I can drive a 16-penny nail and a piece of 2 by lumber in three strokes. I'm really good at this. I'm confident. I did the logic. My middle finger was an inch and a half from the nail, and there's practically no way the hammerhead can deviate that far and get to the finger. BAM! I now know why the manual hammer has been replaced by the air gun hammer in carpentry. Now, until I screamed and leapt off the ladder towards the garage floor, muttering a few expletives on my way, it hadn't occurred to me that I'd had that previous thought. But about halfway down to the floor, I recalled that short, concise conversation that I'd had with myself, considering the very low probability of this exact event occurring. So by the time I'd hit the floor, I was in incredible pain and actually chuckling at myself that I had just witnessed myself creating my own reality. The idea that it had at least popped up in my mind should have given me pause. Don't pitch him high and tight. Practically no way that hammerhead can reach my finger. There's no way I can lose this sail. That car coming in my direction can't cross the center line. Every once in a while, not always, but enough that I notice. I get a hint of what's going to happen next. And most frequently, I pay little or no attention to it and ignorantly proceed. Now, sometimes I get away with it, and sometimes I don't. In rallying, we call it committing to the crash. Just the mere thought of unceremoniously sliding off the road can somehow seem to make it happen. Now, I think we have three choices in these cases. A. We can ignore the signal and watch it unfold just as we created it, crushing a distal phalange, for example. B, we can eliminate that thought, as rally drivers do, looking down the course and dramatically decreasing the probability of any pending race-ending events. That takes training, experience, a very cool presence. Or C, we can just stop. Now, it's the conservative thing to do, probably won't win any rallies, but I certainly could have stopped last Saturday and reconfigured my nail strike. If I just paid attention to that conversation, the pitcher could have concentrated more on throwing something other than a high inside pitch. Listen to your self-talk. It's writing your future. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.